Okay, uh, we're going to use Jolly and a couple other tools to make something like this. Uh, just to show you how to use Jolly, basically. Uh, I'm sure you can do the rest by yourself, no problem. If you don't know Jolly, we're going. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool. There's a lot of things you can do with it, but we're going to work with it in its most basic form. So uh, let's get started. Okay, here we are in a new, uh, fresh uh, window setting. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to need to do, is create the surface for uh, our Jolly to work on. So we'll go from to uh, let's see, an oval right here, no ellipse, yeah, and we'll do it from uh, center, and we'll change that to uh, yellow layer, F4. And uh, I'm going to turn on grid snaps just so I can uh, get a little uh, better control and hold down shift and open it up. And I kind of want to make it even on both sides, so I'll go out to 12 uh, or 14 total. And there's our oval. And if uh, you haven't seen uh, my video on... Uh, loft in uh, net curve network uh, you might want to check that out for this next part but I'm going to go ahead and uh, place a line on my quad turn off my grid snaps at this point uh, make sure I have my O snaps on and my quad checked and I'm going to click at my quad there and I'm going to just go up to a point uh, four and go to my uh, f front view, hold down shift, go up, and click. And then I'll go back to my respective. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that one and use it for all th other three. So I'll duplicate it, and I want to duplicate it at the bottom so that it is all the same. Go to this quad, click, go to that quad, click and this quad here and then hit enter or left click r right click sorry <coughs> so I have my points I just want to give it a little uh, height a little bit more smoothness roundedness so what I'm going to do at this point is go to uh, my arc direction tool and wait for it and then from that end to this end and I'll go from the right view and give it just some dome shape and then uh, I'll go back to perspective uh, right click to recall the tool that I just used and go to my front and give it a little direction there okay so right now they're all individual curves uh, so I want to join them all together so I'll select all of them and join and it will break history it's no big deal don't worry about it Okay, so right now I have uh, three curves out there, one closed and uh, two open. And what I'm going to do at this point is I, I don't like these sharp edges, so I'm going to uh, fillet them, clean them up, and we'll just go here. And I have a uh, point uh, that's the curve I want, and I have a point o th uh, point three and just see it just rounded it off it, it hit enter and I'll select this curve hit enter and enter and it did the same thing now uh, if you watch the other video for curve network in loft you'll know that I have to split this in order to do a curve network so I'll take this curve and split it with this curve and hit enter and it should split yeah and then I'll just select all that this will be the surface we're going to use and go to my surface tool. Uh, well, first I'll click on uh, curve network, then select all that, and then hit enter. And there's my curve, and it's fine. So I'll take this and put it onto this layer. And then I, at this point, I'm going to just uh, take my yellow here because when I use Jolly, it'll be yellow, and I want to bring these back out later. So I'll just uh, put them on red and hide it. Alright, so there's our surface that we're going to use. 
And from here, it's very simple. Uh, we're just going to use jelly in the most basic. So uh, just to give you a little idea, there's a lot you can do with it, but I'm just going to, for the sake of time, uh, make it as simple as possible. Uh, so we need to select our surface, and it'll input our surface, and we have to choose a pattern. So uh, as I said, we're just going to use it in simple uh, terms. So we want to pick something that is Eh, pretty uh, easy. So we're going to select this one. And it looks like it's just, there we go. There's a pattern, okay. And as you can see right now, it's not laying on the surface. And that's because it is rigid. You can click here or you can just go down here and click no. So now you can see those lines better. Uh, and then I'll go back up and we'll uh, make it a little bit let's change our to a point four and see what that looks like yeah that looks okay yeah it looks okay but you can change it down it doesn't matter I'm just going to use this and we'll just go ahead and accept it but you can alter that as m until you get the pattern that you like but I'm going to go ahead and enter and then I'm going to hide my, well, I don't need to. Uh, I'm going to take my uh, yellow, and that's why I hid that earlier or changed colors on it. And then go to my solid and click on pipe. And then give it a few seconds, and it'll put all my pipes out there. And you can adjust those. I'm not going to for the sake of time. But you can adjust those to whatever you like uh, over here in the dynamic command menu uh, or... Uh, through your handle. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and wait. And then I'm going to take that surface and I'm going to hide it. And now I'll bring back out my... And as you can tell, it's a little on the inside there. Uh, maybe a little too much. So you can take it, go to your top view, and uh, drag it out a little. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I need to go back. I forgot I had to split those so let's take this and this and we'll join those and of course it broke history but we're gonna take that we're just gonna drag it out just a little bit and same thing with the side here drag it out just a little and hit enter okay all right so here we have our curve and it's fine. Uh, we're going to go to perspective and first we're going to take, okay, so let's go to our front view. Uh, turn this on. It's a little higher than I'd like, so I'm going to drag it down a little. You can adjust all this anytime, so it's not a, a real big deal. Uh, and then I'll hit uh, on my perspective here and then I'll go to tools and get a ring uh, profile or a rail profile and of course that's on the wrong side so we're just going to take it and flip it 180 and we're going to go to our uh, right view so we can see it nicely and we'll drag it in we don't need it real thick and we don't need it real tall and I'm going to change profile because I want to do some fun work on it and let's see what do we want you can pick all kinds you can always go back and change them because uh, you have your dynamic commands on so no big deal uh, I'll pick something fairly simple uh, let's just do I don't know something like uh, this here maybe uh, we can always change it so if we don't like it okay so here we are it's going to go in there. We're going to drag it down just a little to make sure that it's covering everything up. And it comes in pretty good. I think we'll leave it there just to see what it looks like. And we'll hit uh, enter. So there's our profile. Now it's real simple. We just go to our surface, uh, sweep one with uh, parametric history, select our rail, select our profile, hit enter, and there's our 
shape with the pendant and everything seems to be going in very nicely so no big deal I can go back and probably pull that up a little bit but we'll just leave it like that kind of looks like a Japanese kendo mask uh, but from here you got all kind of things you can do now don't don't let your imagination just stop right there uh, let's hit enter uh, so from here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change to our red layer and we'll go to uh, curve extract iso curve uh, let's see I extract iso curve somewhere here uh, where's it at? Oh, okay there we go extract iso curve from this surface and we'll drag oh no no not angle 90 degrees go to our position and it's not going to give us center because it's uh, smooth everywhere so we're going to have to eyeball it but that looks pretty close and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and then I'm going to take this curve uh, let's see how thick that is just for fun uh, let's go to our uh, dimensions go to our put this on yellow uh, we want here to here. Oh, it's only 1.3, so okay. Uh, so from this curve, we'll go to uh, Tools or Solids, Object on Curve. And what do we got there? We got Balls. You can draw up Balls if you want, or Milgrain, sorry. <laughs> uh, you can put on Milgrain. Check see how that look. Yeah. You can do mill grain or uh, you can switch to something else. We'll change it just for sake of uh, look. And what do we do here? Let's see. Uh, we'll do something like these. Just throw it up there, see what it looks like. And we need to select our object surface so everything faces down. And there you go. That looks pretty interesting. Uh, and then from there you just adjust everything that you want so size make them a little uh, bigger placement let's bring them out a little bit so they have more make sure they're touching that's okay we'll drag it down a little pull it up a little okay uh, spacing, let's bring it in a little closer. There we go. And uh, actually, that looks okay. So we'll just uh, accept that. Give it some time. Let's put this on a different layer so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. And if you go to uh, render view you can kind of get a little look what it's looking like uh, and then go back and then same thing here you can uh, go to curve extract iso curve go in here uh, you want it maybe right on that line there uh, hit enter select that curve go to t solids uh, object on curve uh, let's try beads. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, go ahead and drag them around. Oh, that looks kind of interesting, huh? Uh, so we'll just go ahead and play around with these. Uh, and start size, make them a little smaller. Uh, drag them in. Oh, roll. We don't want to roll. Uh, spa start size, placement, roll spacing let's drag them so they're touching a little bit yeah there we go and we'll just go ahead and uh, accept that and we'll change those to another layer too so we can kind of see them a little bit better kind of interesting and there's our pendant now the only thing from here is just to go to a uh, bell which I can never find this thing I thought bell is parametric maybe not so I can just go to my search bar type in bell hit enter 
and click on avail go to my top view drag it out kind of play around with it all over here in my dominant dynamic commands you can uh, change things up uh, the first thing we're going to do is make it a little bit longer of course yeah, looks okay uh, and then we're going to go to front or si side view get a good look at it and we'll height width we'll go to pro prospective and kind of play around with it how's that alright so I want it wider uh, internal width internal height point three that's a pretty thin chain to carry on that thing so we'll go up to uh, one point seven and we got a three millimeter width so that's fine we're going to change that profile too we're going to uh, what no, that's not the one we'll go here okay so that's not what we want we'll go here Let's see. Profile editor. It's not giving me anything. Where's all my. Profiles that they're kind of missing. Oh profiles. OK here we go. Sorry. <coughs> that was the outside of it. It has a lot of swirly stuff on it, so let's uh, kind of pick something that's a little uh, crazy here. Uh, let's go with the, something like this. Uh, what is it, number 16? So hit select. So let's see what it does. Okay, and then we'll hit this one, and we'll just go to the 16 as well. Uh, and s hit select. And then we'll take another look at it and we'll widen that out and what we got here 0.5 make it a little wider 0 0.7 0 0.8 so it doesn't wear out real quick there we go okay and then from here what we want to do is go to our jump ring and kind of manipulate that bring it down a little let's take a look yeah that's fine Bring it down a little. All right, and then we can just uh, go to everything and bring it into our pendant. And we'll bring it in a little bit more. And we'll go to the right view to see where it's attached at. And we'll drag it up just a little. Pull it out just a little. And go to top view and that looks okay and hit enter and there you go we have a oh, nice little pendant <coughs> there's all kind of things you can do with this uh, I didn't show you where you could actually put the jelly on there and on the surface and then you could split it and cut those surfaces out and extract them, but that's for another day. If you'd like to see that, please leave a comment or uh, let me know that that's something that you want to check out. Uh, but you can do this to any shape uh, and it's uh, really kind of an interesting tool to play around with. Uh, you can come up with all kind of things. You can put stones in there. You can do crazy stuff. Just let your imagination go crazy and go wild. And uh, hope that helps. Uh, good creating. Keep it going.